What's up guys, you're watching the CT Outdoorsman. It's Tuesday, May 31st, and today I'm doing the next segment in my gear review product. Now, I got something a little special for you guys. This is the brand new for 2016 Matthews Halon. Alright, uh, this was my surprise that I hopefully had for you guys for Friday, but I actually got this uh, Wednesday of last week, so I got it early. Um, and couldn't help myself, I wanted to do a do a, a review of it before I got um, everything else done in review. So, um, so a little bit about this bow. This is the new 2016 flagship model from Matthews. This is their hardest or hardest hitting, best selling flagship bow that they've had in a while. Specs on this bow: it's 30 inches axle to axle. Um, it's got a six inch brace height. It comes in three different brace, brace heights, five, six, and seven inches. Dual bridge, dual bridge riser system. So you guys can see right there. And it's got the all new Matthews Lost Camo XD camouflage on it. So something new for, for Matthews. And it's got 85% let off, but you can adjust that from 85 to 80. Uh, to even lower, I think. I'm not 100% not sure on that. But, uh, like I said, I got this last Wednesday. I went to my local Matthews dealer and got it all set up for me. Uh, guy down there, Bill, he was great, helped me out, and I got this thing set up probably within about an hour. So, I'm just going to talk a, a little bit about the bow. This bow is one that I've wanted since, since about they came out. It's the technology behind it is really is really advanced. So what Matthews has done is, if anyone remembers from last year, they took they came out with the no cam. So the cam the cam systems that you see on a lot of bows nowadays for the no cam last year is gone. What they did this year was they brought it back in, but they took it pretty much and morphed it. So this is their cross centric cam system, so you can sort of see how it kind of has the start of a wheel to it and then they cut it off. So what that is, is it makes for a smooth draw cycle and a rock solid back wall. Um, the, they've also put draw stops on it. It's kind of hard to see. Right here. And it's got and it, that's on both cams. Now, the draw cycle of this bow is amazing. I'm going to shoot a couple arrows here first uh, for you guys in a second. But the cross-centric cam system is, in my opinion, ahead of its time. It's really evolutionary. Uh, IBO speeds for the for these bows. The uh, I'm shooting at six-inch brace height, so the IBO top speed is shooting at 343. And when I shot this at the uh, dealer, uh, we got the IBO to about 320, 325. So I'm shooting pretty a pretty decent speed. Uh, the five-inch brace height is the speed bow out of the three and that one is IBO at 353 so that that arrow is humming and then the seven inch brace I, I believe is shooting somewhere around 330 so um, like normal Matthews they've got their harmonic dampeners see it yeah, right here and then it's on both sides so it makes the bow really quiet and vibration is very very limited so I'm gonna shoot some arrows here for you guys, and I found this bow to be extremely quiet. It's really quiet. I love that, love that aspect of it. So we'll uh, shoot some arrows here for you. Like I said, the draw cycle is really nice. Um, my draw weight is at 60 pounds, so um, kind of uh, intermediate, mid-range uh, draw draw cycle or draw weight I should say but um, I really love it and yeah I mean if there were any drawbacks I would have to say about that bow about this bow the only thing that I had a problem with when I first got it was the flat back grip because I was I wasn't used to such a, a beefy grip it's a, a much wider uh, much wider grip and um, I think I just broke my arrow, uh, but yeah, the flat the flat back grip it's 
new new for this year, but you know what? I've gotten used to it, and uh, now I'm just shooting shooting really well. So uh, these these bows are expensive. Um, mine was a little over a grand. So if you are if you got the money to spend, then um, by all means go out. I think you'll love it. And I mean, as you can hear, this bow is just quiet, quiet, quiet. It's my favorite bow that I've shot, and I shot quite a few bows the first time I went to, to the uh, to the shop. So. So uh, yeah, so if you guys have any questions about the new Matthews Halon, um, you can either leave them in the comments below or I would go to Matthews.com and they've got pretty much all you can really ask for when looking at the Matthews and trying to learn more about it. Um, so, so guys, this is the 2016 Matthews Halon, I'm shooting the 6 inch brace sight and um, next video should be on probably my rest of my stabilizer um, again I'm on social media follow me at CT Outdoorsman capital C capital T Outdoorsman all one word and then don't forget to like this video and subscribe see you guys later